All right, we're going to work on this beaver stick that I found on the Columbia River. Get you in close here and see where he cut it down. That's the big end. Lots of chew marks. He debarked it all. And then every once in a while, like right here, you'll see little pieces that he chewed off and that is uh going to be removed today that's what i'm going to work on because i'm not going to sand this or anything this is a total trial and error experiment and then i had to cut it Oops, sorry about that. I had to cut it to length there. So what we're going to do today right there. That's right. Fingernail clippers. And you can't see how many on there, but there's probably a couple of hundred of those little things on here. So I'm going to turn this around and you can watch me spend hours and hours Trying to get all that stuff cleaned off. Okay, this is a pretty long one here. If I don't think it will take finish, I'm going to take it off. There's some really small ones on here. They'll probably get left. But the whole idea behind this is to leave the natural look of what the beaver has done. Like most of my walking sticks, I try to keep them as natural as I can. Everybody has their own unique design. And this is what I've chosen. There's a lot of really awesome looking wood out there. And I don't feel that I need to pretty it up anyway. I'll let the wood speak for itself. If you got any other ideas that you'd like to see me video or any ideas for this stick, Leave me, leave me a comment, and we'll uh, look at it and see if we can make it happen. Ah, look at that. We're about two inches down now. Probably about a five and a half foot stick. May not go as long as I thought, but it's going to be a while. I'm not sure what kind of wood this is. Beaver wood, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and work on this for a while. We'll see how far we get and if I can make this work. Bring you back in a few. Okay, so today we're going to put finish on the beaver stick. This is going to look good.
Okay, we put some finish on the beaver stick. All I have done to this thing is knock off the long chewy wood stuff that he left on here. Everything else is going to stay the same. Wish me luck. Okay, the uh, experiment of not sanding this beaver stick is a fail. There's little splinters all over the stick, all up and down it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 220 grit and I'm going to go over this and see if I can't knock those down. The whole idea behind this was to try and keep the really crisp chew marks in the stick. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to sand it. Now I'm hoping with the first coat of polyurethane on it that it won't take the crispness of the teeth marks away. So we're going to hit it and we're going to see what happens. And then we'll end up giving it another coat. And we may have to do this a couple of times to achieve what we're looking for. All right, I spent a few minutes here sanding the beaver stick. And amazingly, that seemed to work. So I'm really hoping that this next coat of finish will be all I need on it. You can see the splinters here on the table. So there were quite a few of them. But that thing looks very nice now. Did not sand any of the edges off of the teeth marks. That's what I was trying to accomplish. So I'm going to give this a, another coat. And we will see how it looks then. All right, well, I got her finished. Beaver stick is done. I like the way it turned out. Still got the crisp lines. Looking pretty good. Only had to give it two coats of the polyurethane. There will be no lanyard, no ha handle wrap, no foot. This is just a primitive stick. Goes in my right hand, actually. And we're going to uh, call this a win. I'm going to look for other sticks like this one, other beaver sticks. I'm sure we can uh, find some more. might take a little while, but... We're going to do it. So that concludes this project. I like the way it turned out. And since it's for me, that's what matters. And I'm going to be finishing up some more sticks here in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Take care and have a good one.